Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be learning about the switch statement. So conditionals. Consider a program that takes a day number as input and outputs the corresponding weekday. For a shorter code in our demo we have checked only for the first three values. We can continue the code and check for all. Yeah. So we get an input day then we're gonna output the day of the week so for example one is Monday two is Tuesday etc then you would need about seven statements um, keep typing the same redundant code seven times um, instead of the many uh, if else statements which become hard to read we can use a switch statement. a switch statement tests a variable for equality against the list of values uh, here is the previous example using the switch statement so this is the modified version so you're gonna have the switch keyword right here the thing you're um, looking for the value which in this case is two and then it checks case uh, case and then whatever you have if you have a one two three and then so for example it's day which is two so it looks until it sees two two prints this out break basically exits the code otherwise it's going to keep running um, in fact we can actually test it out so it should print Tuesday and it does so that's basically how it works and then let's look at the code when when the variable being switched on is equal to a case, the statements following the case will execute until a break statement is reached. You can have any number of case statements within a switch. Each case is followed by the comparison value and a colon. So case, for example, case one, case two, and then after the break, make sure to put a semicolon. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay, so it had the one, so you just need the colon. So what happens when you go too quickly? All right. It is important to have a break statement for each case. If no break appears, the program will continue um, to exit the next code. So if you don't have the break statement, um, here for example it's gonna print out all three or it's gonna print out everything after the case so you need the break statement what is the value of x after this code is ran um, so if x is 2 so x is 3 but remember there's no break statement so x is gonna be 4 Okay, the switch statement can have optional default case. The default case can be used for performing a task when none of the cases is matched. So for example, if there is not a day, for example, um, if the user enters in eight, there's no eighth day of the week, so it would just say does not exist or something along those lines. So what is the output of the following code? So of case 40 so switch is a which is 11 which doesn't mean it so it's going to print out c which is 40. okay the lesson takeaways for today are going to be the switch statement is a handy way to check for multiple values and run code remember that each case is followed by a value and a colon each case needs a break statement or the other code of the other cases will continue to get executed. The default case can be used to run code if none of the cases match. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to check for multiple conditions. So here's the practice problem for today. Okay. You are making a robot that should categorize items by their color. Each color represents corresponds to a box with the specific number. For simplicity, our program will handle three colors, red, 
goes to box one, green goes to box two, black goes to box three. Your program needs to take color as input and input the corresponding box number. All right, so this is easy. So first, you have to actually make a new uh, scanner object, which don't worry about this if you don't know. Input equals new scanner. If you don't know what an object is, um, basically it's um, how the how different cl uh, classes are linked. So, for example, the scanner. So this is an object, basically. It's it's hard to dis uh, describe, but we will get into the specific details later. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then we'll have, for example, string color input color equals. Line. and then we're gonna have let's see we're gonna have a switch statement so we'll take in the color and then we're gonna have case case when the case is let's say red we're gonna system the out dot print Let me copy and paste this. Um, actually, yeah. It's just going to print out one. Okay. And then make sure to have the break. Otherwise, it's. Otherwise, it'll be bad. It'll be bad. Uh, and then we're going to have. So case, second case is going to be green, print out two, for this we print out three, and the last one is blue, black, black, black. Okay, so you're making a menu for a vending machine. The choice is stored in a variable called item. Fill in the blanks to output the selected beverage. Here, break case. After the default, it's going to be just a semicolon. And there you have a lesson is completed. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one.